I got Tarkaler Tasso, our who won it last year with Rene Pichelok in the saddle. This year, he's got the assistance of none other than Frankie de Tori. And if there's any rain around in Longchamp, this lad will love it. Oh, I'm going for the fairy tale with Alpinista. Wouldn't it be wonderful if Sir Mark Prescott were to lift a pre de l'Arc de Triomphe? She's an admirable mare. She'll love the fact it's been raining in Paris. And heart-ruling head, but I'm hoping the head's not wrong either. Alpinista for me in the arc. I just love the way master trainer Aidan O'Brien has brought Luxembourg along, very much under the radar this season, but we saw exactly what he's capable of when he won the Irish Champion Stakes just a couple of weeks ago. So for me, it's one for Bally Doyle, Luxembourg to win the arc. Five-year-old mares don't win the arc, but then Alpinista is no ordinary five-year-old mare. She's won her last seven starts, five in Group 1 company. She's pretty much uh, not ground dependent and versatile in a running style. All in all, what's not to like? I want Alpinista for the arc. She's beaten the Oaks winner uh, Tuesday at York. She beat the arc winner Torqueta Tasso as well last season. She's very good Alpinista. I think she'll do it on Sunday. I think she'll win the arc. Sealyway hasn't done a great deal so far this season, but he was staying on fifth in this race last year. Champion stakes winner too. Ground comes right. He's an insult of a price at the moment each way, especially if you can find some extra place markets as well, is the way to play the arc. An open arc at a big price. Alpinista, trained by Sir Mark Prescott. She's hard, she's tough, she goes on any ground, but the best thing about the whole thing is the story with her groom, uh, Annabelle Willis, who is just devoted to the horse. What a story that would be. A controversial third at the Epsom Derby, a romp in the Irish Derby. We can forgive West over that run, I believe, on firm ground in the King George against Piledriver. He's had a break. The boss of Kimpton Down, Rafe Beckett, I think will have him fully tuned up on this rain-sodden ground at Longchamp come Sunday. I like an outsider here, and it's interesting, isn't it, that Rennie Penichuk won it last year with Torcato Tasso. I think he might win it again this year with rank outsider Mendocino. I was really impressed with the way he beat Torcato Tasso last time out. Mendocino is a massive price, and I don't really understand why. I think he'll run really well. Patini, whose performance in the Prix du Jockey Club last June was uh, simply extraordinary. This is his first attempt over a mile and a half, but if he can run like he did in June in the Prix du Jockey Club, he should be a prominent player in the arc on Sunday. I'm going to go with the land of the rising sun for the arc at the weekend. He's rated 125, he's got gate speed, he travels and he stays. Title holder, Mina San, Gombate, Kudasai.